All on the road again. On the road again. <laughs> All right. We got another load and it's picking up about nine miles from here. It's in Massachusetts and it's going all the way over to Indianapolis, Indiana. Cinnamon, tell them about this load. So this load, I'm not sure how many pieces it is, but it says that the weight is 8,000 pounds, which is a lot for us. Uh, nothing that we can't handle, but we're usually uh, used to like the smaller weight. So when I saw 8,000 pounds, I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, so it's 8,000 pounds and it actually is not a temperature load. So we don't need to put the reefer on, uh, which is um, the refrigerator. Um, so it's going to be very easy, I think. So because uh, whenever we do like the cold loads and stuff, we have to like worry about the doors being open too long or if they say go ahead and open the doors and they don't load us right away and like that kind of stuff. So um, we do like these loads. They're a lot easier, of course. So. Uh, wonderful weather we're having Derek do you know what it is it is currently 74 degrees outside it's not really windy out or anything it's just nice out all right let's go ahead and get this sucker If you are interested in doing what we do and driving one of these trucks for a living, reach out to Highfield Trucking at the link and phone number in the video description. Let them know Truck and Travel sent ya. Come on. All right, guys, we are loaded up. It ended up being like these three big plastic things. They're probably almost six foot tall. They're empty, but they're like a thousand pounds each, weren't they? Yeah, so it ended up not being 8,000 pounds, but just 3,000 pounds, because there's yeah. three of them, they're each a thousand, so. So I don't know why they did it. They, just in case, I guess, but this is still, you know, might be up there with the most weight we've done since we got the third axle which doesn't say that much but <laughs> we can handle a lot more than this yet um i used a total of seven straps and there was five bars um the wall that i have in the back you know that was the bars but i had two straps over each unit then at the bottom the very back i had one on the ground to uh pull them all against the bars all right, let's go ahead and do these miles. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know what, you guys? I'm really sorry. I was editing this video and I just realized I didn't do a video during my 30 minute break. I uh, was in a hurry to get something to eat. I was really hungry. I do remember that. And stopped in a rest area in the state of New York. I want to say it's northern New York, probably not too far from Syracuse, New York. And uh, yep, got something to eat. And I most likely started watching YouTube videos instead of making a YouTube video of my own. I'm really sorry. So we're just going to go ahead and continue on this journey. It won't be long and soon I'm going to be taking over. All right. Good morning, everybody. It is raining outside. <laughs> uh, we are in Austinburg, Ohio at the Flying J. We're switching, Derek's going to bed. I had to get the coffee on. I'm still waking up, so I'm gonna leave in a little bit. Um, but 65 degrees out right now, and I think I have like 387 miles or something like that to go. So uh, Derek did a lot of the miles, which is really awesome of him. Um, but I'm gonna wake up a little bit more. We're gonna switch. It's cold, I'm gonna run inside. Just wanted to give you this update. <laughs> All right, let's see what the rest of the rest of this trip holds, so. <laughs> Alright guys, we're currently at a Loves here in Indiana along Interstate 70. Cinnamon did around 400 and some miles today. She got us to our, our drop. Hasn't been a bad week. There is so much construction. Like I felt like everywhere we went there was construction. As soon as we got out of it, there was more. So there's like a ton of footage and I was really excited because there were some construction workers that were doing this and like nobody else was honking their horns on like so I honked my horn and they looked pretty happy. Of course, that's when I was sleeping, so. I did it because I thought, I'm like, surely Derek isn't sleeping right now because it's been bumpy and stuff like that. So I asked him afterwards and he's like, no, I was sleeping. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Surely, surely I wasn't sleeping. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. But really it was a, it was a good week. Uh, we wasn't expecting to get this load. We priced the previous load before it as if uh, we weren't gonna get it or as if we weren't going to have anything and we'd just have a big deadhead and uh we ended up getting this load so it was uh so it took us back away from the east coast which was exciting brought us back home it was a pretty good blessing to, we got to, to see get, a lot of 
to get this pay and all that. She keeps on interrupting. Me. I'm just so excited. It was of a all blessing to make money coming back, not coming back empty handed. And seeing all the colors. And seeing all the colors. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. <laughs> it was awesome. On to the next one. On to the next one. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. You're funny. Surely he's sleeping. I I'm sorry. I really thought that you were sleeping. Oh. Walk much. I need to go to bed. I feed the kitties first, so. I was gonna say ten bucks. Caleb's at the door, but Norton will be there too. Yeah. Bet. I mean, we both bet the same thing, so I guess we can't really bet for that. I got money. She ain't got no money. She buys what's that? Temu crap or whatever. Temu. Temu. I yeah. haven't bought it though since you shared that one YouTube video with me. China. No, about them like cracking credit cards, but my card wasn't linked to it. My PayPal was so, or my bank account wasn't linked, so. <laughs> Norton looked and then got down. Caleb's right there. He's had a bad habit of being right here when we open up the door, so be careful that he doesn't fall out. Are you hungry? <laughs> All right. <laughs>